Hello guys, welcome to the gaming news for the 15th of October 2022. So the North American Data Center for Final Fantasy XIV is going to be expanded on the 1st of November 2022. It's going to include the new data center Dynamis. It's going to have three new worlds and Square Enix have released a schedule of when the housing lottery will be available on the new servers. So if you're looking for a new world to go to and you're playing in North America, then maybe these new worlds will be of use to you. And the next bit of news for today is Flo Marty, who is the executive producer behind Gotham Knights, has explained that because of the untethered co-op that's coming to the game, there will not be any performance or quality toggles on consoles for Gotham Knights. Instead, it will be capped at 30 frames per second. In the future, we'll see if they add any options for performance, but for now, at launch, it will be limited to 30. They also announced a four-player co-op mode, which is coming for free, in November. And the last bit of news for today is several new features for Dead Space Remake was announced yesterday, including the fact there will be no loading screens, there will be expanded story moments in the game, there will be new optional side content as well, including locked doors and reasons to revisit previous areas. They also released a entry on the PlayStation blog if you want to see more detail about the game. So if you're looking forward to Dead Space Remake, not too long more and you'll be able to play it. Anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much, as always, for all the new followers, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.